This is a video on the normal histology of the cochlea, which is part of the auditory system. This is the cochlea. Its function in the auditory system is to sense sound vibrations and translate them to nerve impulses. The vestibular duct is a paralymph-filled cavity and is part of the inner ear that conducts vibrations to the cochlear duct. This is the vestibular membrane, known as the Reisner's membrane. This separates the vestibular duct from the cochlear duct. This is the cochlear duct. It is an endolymph-filled cavity. It is separated from the tympanic duct by the basilar membrane and the organ of cordy. This is the organ of cordy. It is situated on the basilar membrane. The organ of cordy function as a microphone for the auditory system, sending nerve impulses to the brain as sound. The hair cells on the organ of cordy play an essential role in transmitting sound waves to the brain by receiving vibrations. This is the tectorial membrane. It is an acellular membrane, just like the basilar membrane, and is also part of the organ of cordy. This is the scala tympani. It is a paralymph-filled cavity. Movement from sound waves are translated to the organ of cordy through the adjacent basilar membrane. The sound waves transmitted by the organ of cordy are sent to the brain via nerve cells known as spiral ganglion, as pictured here. To summarize, the cochlea is an essential part of the auditory system. It plays a significant role in, of translating sound waves and vibrations into information to the brain.